Seriously, I'm gonna spear his. One man and one woman for 21 days to face the most primal survival challenge of their lives. Mm, rat kebabs. Deep in the vast windswept wilderness of Ontario, Canada, lies the area of Bark Lake. A rugged patchwork of thick hardwood forest and frigid lakes and marshlands. I have goosebumps all over my body. Uh, I've been out here 20 minutes and uh, it's quite chilly. I'm tired of everyone thinking I'm just some dumb blonde girl whose primary goal in life is to be pretty. I've been practicing wilderness survival since I was a little kid. My grandpa would take us hunting and trapping. I've never found the no factor of things that you really aren't capable of doing. In order to keep finding my limits, you know, I'm just pushing them even further with this. I am most nervous right now about uh, the cloud covering. My name is Greg Wells. I'm 35 years old, and I'm just finishing up a 15-year career in the military. If you can't start a fire and you're relying on that fire starter, that's not primitive. That's naked, and you're an idiot. I don't mind being naked so much. I feel a little bit bad about embarrassing my family. It's gonna be an interesting situation for them, I think, more than me. Sorry, Nana. I hope my partner is not a blonde, because I haven't met one yet that has, like, one single coherent thought other than themselves, maybe a pair of shoes. They're just, in general, for lack of a better word, morons. turn the corner and I see my partner and um, she's a blonde girl. Hello. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Greg. Cassie, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. So, you ready to do this? <laughs> so, it's so. a chilly day, yeah. Well, it's a little cold, but that's all right, you yeah. know. When I see my partner for the first time, I'm thinking, he looks warm. <laughs> so, I'm excited for that. You ready to get started and see what we got? In addition to a cooking pot, Cassie and Greg have also brought one personal survival item. I brought my machete. Good stuff. I made this sheath for it, so I'll have something to carry it in. Nice, that's perfect. I brought with me paracord. Paracord is not a fire starter, and I was hoping we would have a fire starter in Canada. Where? Where? Smell something. Grande Maria. Man, really? We will have fire. I'm very confident in primitive fire making, like a bow drill and everything else. How are your feet feeling? Oh, my feet are great. Good, good, good. I'm just thankful it's, it's really actually quite soft with all these little fern things. I know, it's nice. It's like carpet. All the luxuries of home. <laughs> is this bare That That it is. In an environment like this, you have a lot of bears, you have a lot of wolves, and moose Ah. Uh, oh, there's a lot of moose poop. Those are predatory animals, and you may actually be what's for dinner. This is nerve-wracking, though, coming up on some place where you think there's a bear. Wolf bear. OK, which way do you want to go? OK, we'll, we'll, we'll go around somewhere else. I don't want to be here. It, it was loud. It was moving. I thought we were going to die. Wow. This is going to definitely get us out of the bugs. It's going to be a bit pokey, uh, and it may be an area frequented by bears. Mm, I don't know. Given this rock and everything, I don't think they're going to come out here. We find a good spot out on the um, granite rock face. It's a little bit open, so we'd get a little more daylight. It's dry. You know, we're not going to be sleeping in the marsh. I do the partner method of using a bow drill. So one holds, one saws. Makes things a lot easier. It's a lot more stable. Oh, sorry. Ah. It's looking a little light. How did that not kick? That was perfect. Ah. 
I hope that you can see that my pee is steaming on the rock because it's freezing here. <laughs> Anything to raise our body temperatures because it's so cold, we're really afraid that we might come down with hypothermia. Without fire, we're not going to make it. We were really, really excited for some sun rays to shoot on us, and instead we got fog. Main goals for day two is uh, take the shelter, get a nice, solid frame for us, and then get the fire going. That's That's got to be done. It's like an entire wall of blackberries, which is awesome. Right now, you know, I'm not concerned about calories. We have a lot of berries and easy calories to replenish. Uh, I'm concerned about fire. I don't see how we could possibly survive without it. It's disappointing for her. I know that Greg is trying really hard, but in the same sense, I am completely relying on him to make this fire, and I am also frustrated that it's not happening. You know, we come down to the tough decision that, you know, we got to drink. I'm so scared of this water. Don't be. You're going to purify it right here, and you're going to be good. I remember that the moss around here has iodine, which anyone who's been in the wood knows that you use iodine for purification of water. Yeah, it kind of tastes like <laughs> It's a little gritty. Yeah, but whatever it takes, it's water. Whatever it takes. It's pouring on us, and it's like 40 degrees, and it's just freezing. It's really cold. We're getting soaked. I think we can actually get hypothermia. Um... We almost went home last night. We were really miserable. We were scared of getting hypothermic. I don't know how much longer we're gonna make it without fire. Don't be the one. Stop raining! Day five. Kind of just, you know, feeling like crap. Both of us are just sluggish from the cold. In this environment, I don't think any shelter is going to be able to keep out the cold. It's just absolutely frigid. I think that every single night without fire is a struggle against hypothermia. Greg, Greg, you gotta stay awake. Greg, Greg you gotta stay awake. You can't fall asleep. Last night was really scary. Greg almost going down with hypothermia. I underestimated this environment. I was just in complete doubt that I was gonna make it at all. Cassie really picked me up. She got me through it. You literally saved my life last night because I was going down fast and, you know, coming over, giving me some body heat that I, I just couldn't produce anymore. I really appreciate that, thank you. Cassie is the exception to the blind rule. She's awesome. Cassie's nothing like any blind I've ever met before. Awesome. Let's go try fire again. <laughs> you got this. You got this. Looking good. Getting a lot of smoke. Oh, sweet Jesus. Get that going quick, quick, quick. I'm trying. We need a couple of these good pieces going here. <laughs> I have made fire. It was beautiful. You know, probably, probably the best thing I've seen since I absolutely was dying, literally, to have it. To finally have warmth again is, is amazing because we're really starting to need it since we're losing all our body fat from not eating. Oh, there's a frog. Got one. Two. Holy cow. Ready for dinner? Yes. We've got lake vegetables, frog legs, and blackberries. Oh, come here, you delicious 
Oh, wow. It's so good. That was really good. Good work, Cassie. Thank you. Good work on that fire. Canada's about to see what's up now. Now we got fire. This is easy as hell. There's a huge storm blowing in today, so instead of doing what we had planned, which was setting up some traps, we are now stocking up firewood like crazy. How can it possibly rain? I don't know, but it's just dumping on us. Oh, it's dying down quick. If it is this fire, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Over the next three days, temperatures plummet. This weather just sucks. I've never been anywhere where every single day it just beats you down. And it's, it's just, it, I'm so pissed about it. We are all out of wood. So we're out of firewood and birch bark. This isn't staying lit. All right, this is everything I've got on birch bark. I'm throwing my bedding on it now. You want to keep an eye on it and I'll go out and get a batch? Yeah, I got you. Oh my god. Ugh. Baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. What you got? What you got? This is everything I could get that was kind of dry. How are we looking? I think it's lighting. I think it is too. I, I think we might have this. Oh my God! It looks like our log is actually starting to burn. The one log we had left. Oh. We're not going home yet. Oh no! High five, Team Canadia. It's sunlight. That is sunlight. It's cold and we're hungry. But we still have fire after the storm, which is awesome. Absolutely. We rock that one. This terrain makes it a little difficult to set these up. I made the deadfall trap. They're good for, you know, any kind of small animals, anything you can bait in. Hopefully when he goes to pull that acorn off the stick, it will uh, trigger the trap. We'll see. I just woke up and I'm going to check my trap. We'll see if there's anything in it. It looks like trap deployed. Double it's not looking promising. I don't see any blood. We're in the end game. Uh, nope. It looks like he cleaned out our acorn. I hate him. Today, I think uh, the hunger is really starting to to hit. I'm, I'm noticing how hungry I am. <gasps> he went for it. Man. monster loves your trap. Mm. He was standing on top of it, eating berries. I hate him. I'm gonna kill that little I wanna kill monster for eating all of our berries. That's just pure vendetta right there. Look, he's on this log, I see him. I'm gonna cut out through the wood line this way and try and get around him. Okay. We didn't get that one, but the game isn't over. Get him! Oh, he's in that hole. Where the could he have gone? Ducked right under that spear. Yeah, he did. Today we almost killed Monster twice. So it's hopeful, we're close. Monster's good as dinner. Seriously, I'm gonna spear his Let's get that. He's dinner. I got about 12 inch snake. See if you can chop through right there. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, you are a snake! <laughs> yeah! Nice! Woo! Killing that snake was absolutely necessary. We were starving, we're hungry. I'm just, I'm so excited. Today, for your dining pleasure, we're offering crisp for a snake. He's a chef. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. This is delicious. Uh, it's so good. Good work. I'm pumped. Killing the snake. Me and Cassie have a decent little meal. It's morning 21. Because I'm a warrior, I thought it would be appropriate to do body paint for extraction. Ready to get out of here. Hi, monster. See you, Fuzzy. You little All right, well, um, obviously this is not a good choice. We're in this wooded environment. We're getting our feet destroyed. There's a lot of dead trees on the ground and lots of sticks everywhere. Whoa. All right. Sweet We keep getting in rougher and rougher here. I am a little on edge. Some of the places we were walking appeared to have never, ever been touched by anything. Ooh, this is not gentle on the feet. No, this sucks on the feet. Big thorns, big thorns. Trying to traverse thick brush, it's extremely difficult. Ooh, look at this. Here's our big lake. We can make it to this plane. Easy, girl. I got you. Oh my gosh! Thank Good you. job. Oh my god, we got an airplane. High five. Yeah, yeah. We did it. <laughs> Going through these circumstances in this environment and these situations with Cassie has really helped me grow as a person. Day one to done. Let's go Goodbye, home. Bye, Canada. You saw me at face value. You know, young blonde girl coming out here to survive in the woods with him. But once we both saw how much we're both willing to put in in order to make it, I think uh, we came to respect each other. Oh my God, we did it! I'm so excited for the blanket! Cheers! Never stop pushing, never stop moving forward. Always challenge yourself. Woo! Goodbye, Canada!